like Jalo Isaiah. I've shot this straight after the other video, if you saw the um, Spanish uh, Blu-ray releases update, uh, Madonna Dead and uh, Friday the 13th. So I'm going to show off now um, the Greek uh, VHS tapes uh, that I have here. And I've started collecting these the past year roughly um, and these are all on the Warner home video label so these are the titles that I've got on Warner okay and let's jump into them right now this is It's Alive um, I'm sure many horror fans are gonna be familiar with this uh, front cover here uh, I haven't seen this for ages and this is uh, a classic horror film from 1973 I think we'll check on the reverse now I'm not sure I think it's 73 and this is on Warner Home Video and this is a large X rental box let's check out the spine Verse. Okay. Ah, so that 1974 is the content, but the package design is 1982. Let's check the tape out. have it. Video land. Okay, and this is the sequel, It Lives Again. Warner Home Video, X Rental, Big Box. I don't know if Many of my subscribers collect VHS or they're just into the hard boxes and um, Blu-rays, but I will show these off on my channel, so if you're not into this stuff, just skip it. Um, no worries. But mostly, you know, I get these for the artwork and they're just different releases of these films. As you know, I'm into my film art, so here is uh, Island of the Alive, and all three of these, I've not seen these, for, I don't think I've seen this at all. I've seen the first one, the second one, I'm not sure, um, but I got all three of these for a good price, so why not? grab the uh, the set or kind of complete this like that so Jarvis baby on board that must be the uh, the little nipper who goes around killing everyone let's check the spine out After this, we didn't check the tape in this one Next up, The Lost Boys, absolute classic. That's something that I'd uh, definitely pick up as soon as I saw that. The Lost 
boys. All of these are ex-rental tapes and uh, pretty highly collectible. Um, The English uh, presets are the things that I originally started collecting. Uh, but now that I'm over here, I've uh, got into these Greek tapes. They're pretty cool. The Lost Boys. Dracula AD 1972. Another one I haven't seen. I think he, um, I saw a trailer for this and I think he uh, is transported to 1972 uh, into modern times, let's say, when this film was made and uh, there's people partying, drinking, smoking, and he's just wandering around killing everyone from what I could see from the trailer. So it looks quite funny. Uh, it's not along those uh, classic lines of um, set in you know, the olden times. It's a uh, modern-ish for its time uh, setting and probably one of the better ones that's been released. I'm not a huge fan of Dracula, but uh, I came across this and uh, I like this label, so I might as well pick this up. Okay, next we have Eyes of a Stranger. This is um, quite a nasty little film, actually, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is, um, I remember having this on uh, DVD. I remember having a Region 1 DVD of this. It was the only release out. And uh, I think this is uh, special effects by Tom Savini. So, you know, you can imagine that this is going to be quite good. I don't think it's one of his more memorable films that he's done effects in. You know, it's not, not any Maniac or Friday the 13th type style, but... Uh, Still, you know, he played a part in the effects in this, so they're going to be good. And, um, yeah. So that's Eyes of a Stranger. 1980, this was released. And I think the cover had uh, a woman on the front kind of dangling from uh, a rope. She was being hung or being strangled, but you could see like uh, the bottom half of her, if, if you guys know exactly the DVD I'm talking about. Okay, and here it is, Friday the 13th, the original Warner Home Video. Uh, this tape um, quite collectible, uh, Greek release, any release around the world of the original Friday the 13th um, rental uh, is uh, highly collectible. A little, little mark there, someone's um, peeled a sticker off and taken some of the uh, sleeve off there with it. That wasn't me, I wouldn't ever do that, I would have left it there or removed it some other way. Shame that is. Okay, there's the spine. And you know when this came out, 1980. The knife there. Sure, nice gun original Friday the 13th uh, with Tom Savini's makeup effects. Let's have a look at the uh, tape and uh, see what the conditions are that. That's in uh, good condition. Cool. Happy with that. Let's check out the tape in this. Well. 
you'll notice a lot of these um, Greek exponentals always have a line through the spine because they removed all the sleeves in the rental shops and had them folded in a, like a little kind of folder slip case thing which uh, I don't like either so a lot of the releases have got like a fold in the spine okay uh, Galaxy of Terror another 80s um, kind of gore, gory uh, monster type film this is in space this one's pretty cool I remember watching the UK version of this and this I think this is quite hard to get hold of as well some uh, nice artwork in the front there Nine minutes and this is 1981 someone's having their eyeballs popped out and yeah this is um, set in a space on a spaceship okay Okay, this is Piranha, uh, the original Piranha, not the remake. Again, large box, sex rental. I think this is 1978, this film. Some cool art there at the front. I'm sure you lot are familiar with this film. It's quite well known. Piranha. 95 minutes, 1978. Okay, let's check the That's about it, actually. Oh no, there's one other one here. This is not a Warner. This is just some obscure, random film that I came across. Uh, it's called The Butcher on Astron. Astron Video. Got no idea what this is about. And uh, I think it's a French film. Anyone knows what this is? Uh, let me know. I've never come across this before, but uh, I like the front cover, and I've got it for a good price. So I just picked this up for the artwork. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I'll just continue up my uh, the rest of my Greek collection here. I'll do it via the label they were released on, like the way I did my hard box videos in the past. Uh, I'll do the same with the Greek VHS in the same way, same style. And uh, yeah, I'll come around to get into the next label uh, in a week or two's time, whenever I get a bit more time. I'll uh, film and upload the next part of the Greek uh, VHS that I've got here. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, if it's not your cup of tea, it's not the usual thing I do. Uh, but it's horror related, and there's some alternative covers here. And some of the titles are quite interesting when they write them in Greek. Nothing to do with the actual English title. So, yeah. All right, till next time, take care, guys. Have a good one. See you.